uh, dharma or the right conduct which swami time and again mentions about satya dharma shanti prema ahimsa right so among that i i chose dharma right and uh, uh, i particularly uh, you know i'm interested in looking at um, what do you call fairness transparency ethics uh, morals and uh, let's say bias free so how do you combine these uh, important values which you can collectively call as dharma you know and apply into design thinking of complex socio technical systems Hi Ram everyone my humble pranams at the divine lotus feet of uh, our beloved uh, bhagwan shri uh, satya sai baba and uh, here i am today before you to share a couple of uh, incidences from my personal journey of uh, values that i've learned uh, being part of uh, swami's organization and how i how i could stitch that into my professional life and uh, you know in in my personal capacity and w- uh, what uh, how how i want to relate that to you know uh, my professional practice is something that i'm going to share with you now number 1 is uh, you know the commitment to time and time management right so these are two uh, very important values uh, that that is something that i've uh, you know have been lacking but this is something that i have observed being part of uh, swami's uh, institutions in singapore while i was doing my phd uh, So here uh, is a size organizations doing plenty of activities that I was closely associated to I've been observing how people uh, commit to the time uh, you know be it on a saturday or a sunday to uh, be part of these activities uh, be it uh, you know bal vikas class or uh, you know uh, practicing and teaching vedam uh, or uh, holding let us say a weekly bhajan at uh, on a friday evening so i've been uh, observing how dedicated uh, people are several people uh, you know how they have inspired me you know in 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 shaping my own value system within right and um, so without getting into the details now uh, as a scientific uh, you know um, professional coming back to india now i have moved to e- india so to give you a pers- uh, you know background little background about my personal uh, or professional life uh, uh, today i'm here uh, you know i'm heading uh, innovations um, within uh, the center of excellence uh, in emerging technologies uh, within the tamil nadu's uh, e governance agency so i am uh, where my special interest lies in how do we uh, uh, you know use and apply technologies uh, especially advanced technologies and emerging technologies you know uh, and 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 kind of uh, uh, you know create new value chain which is called as which is what i call as innovation and how do we apply it to society uh, and transform uh, livability or you know the quality of life of our uh, citizens including me right so so this is my special interest and with this background uh, looking at how systems uh, are designed here i would like to uh, g- uh, you know give you a quick uh, you know incidents uh, and and an experience of mine so uh, if you have to practice time and time management uh, and commit to something uh, someone about time uh, you know how challenging and difficult it is in india uh, unlike in many other parts of the world uh, right uh, this is uh, you know you can imagine how uh, how how difficult it is with a given uh, way that the systems traffic uh conditions are how the uh, you know uh, various road transport systems like flyovers or subways or or traffic signals are designed and uh, and given uh given the given the state of how uh, the information age that we are in and the amount of tools and the methods and techniques that are available uh, to the designers uh, of these complex systems uh, you know uh, i i i recognize soon unlike in other other parts of the world uh, here uh, our urban planning and management system is doing uh, pretty bad uh, work and there is a plenty of scope to improve these uh, systems to be able to you know for for us to improve our quality of life and uh, for us to practice uh, 
uh, you know the, this important value of time uh, management and time commitment uh, you know uh, at, at your personal capacity or at professional capacity right and so this is my first incidence uh, uh, or a narration or an example that I want to uh, leave you with and number two is another value which is very very important uh, you know which is uh, dharma or the right conduct which swami time and again mentions about satya dharma shanti prema ahimsa right so among that i i chose dharma right and uh, uh, about dharma speaking about dharma uh, I, I i particularly uh, you know i'm interested in looking at um, what do you call fairness transparency ethics uh, morals and uh, let's say bias free so how do you combine these uh, important values which you can collectively call as dharma you know and apply into design thinking of complex socio technical systems uh, which is again uh, one of my professional uh, interest uh, areas right now um, and this is very very important as we speak today uh, we are in an information age as i said before uh, and we see automation happening around us coming into our lives ai systems controlling our lives uh, be it at homes or workplaces or your transportation systems and so on and so forth so so automation uh, you know uh, artificially intelligent systems are there around us within us you know trying to control uh, taking into consideration of your data personal data pr uh, private data and many other things right so this is uh, now uh, in the this context the world has recognized scientific uh, community has recognized the importance of embedding these dharmic principles as I mentioned before uh, you know transparency ethics uh, fairness into how uh, these artificially intelligent systems could make decisions uh, you know um, considering uh, will uh, considering you know collective uh, uh, good of um, um, many people rather than the people who design it or own it uh, or deployed it into some environment so so at at my uh, current capacity of head of innovations of technology innovation and society for the governance i am particularly interested in progressing this scientific body of knowledge and this is some a uh, field that i wanted to a uh, carve a niche for myself and probably uh, swami has put me uh, in a right position is what i see um, you know and ha have given me uh, uh, ample opportunities and and placed me in the last 10 years into a right path to be able to appreciate and learn all these values and uh, probably I would be able to do uh, some justice uh, as what Swami deems appropriate uh, going forward uh, in my professional life so with that I would like to uh, you know uh, thank you uh, for all your attention I hope you enjoyed watching it. Jai Sai Ram.